Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Rossi. Today we are going to create a contour line drawing of a house based on a new artist. Let's get started. Our artist today's name is Stig Lindberg. He is a Swedish designer and illustrator. And today we're going to look at one of his illustrations of a house. Now the house that he drew is very detailed, but it's only using simple shapes and lines. He is not adding value or shadows to make his drawing look three-dimensional. He is just layering lines and shapes to create a basic outline drawing of a home. Now what's interesting about the house that he drew is that it looks like maybe the ocean is rising and taking over the land or maybe that the area is flooding and now half of the house is underwater. What's cool is that he started to add details like fish and boats to really set the scene of what life would be like if all of our houses stayed where they were but the ocean moved into the streets. Would the fish come with it? Would people just start using boats instead of their houses? What do you think that would look like? So we're going to explore that idea today by creating our own drawing based on his illustration. So what we're going to do is draw our own house. You can draw your house. You can draw a friend's house. You can draw your dream house. Or you can look at some of the pictures that I posted on my canvas page to get an idea of a house you can draw. What you're going to need today is a pencil, a skinny marker, I'm going to use a sharpie pen. If you don't have a sharpie pen, you can use a regular pen or a thin marker, or you can even use a colored pencil and that will work. I'm going to need an eraser and I'm going to color in my water that's going to be covering some of my house with some watercolors today. You can use crayon or colored pencil or you can leave your picture black and white just like our artist if you don't have anything to color with. So we're going to start drawing our house with our pencil. I'm going to pick one of the houses from my canvas page to draw. I might even mix a few of those pictures together. I'm holding my paper portrait style so it is tall going up and down or vertically because I want the house that I'm going to draw to be nice and tall so I have space to add my water below. If you want to draw a longer house that is more wide than it is tall, you can hold your paper landscape so it is longer going left to right and that will give you more space to spread out your house. But like I said, I keep my paper nice and tall because I'm going to try and make a taller house today. Now, your house that you're drawing does not have to look like mine. Yours can look however you would like. So I'm just going to draw this nice and quickly so we can get started on the next steps. Now that I finished drawing my house, I'm going to go in and start to add my water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide how high up I want my water to go. I think I want it to go right across almost the middle of my house, maybe a little lower. So I'm going to draw a wavy line going across to mark where my water is. So now everywhere below here, I can start to add things like fish, or whatever I think I'm going to see under my water. If I want to add anything on top of my water, I can draw it right along that water line if I want to draw any boats or any other details like that. As I'm drawing these things, they are going to be in front of my house. So if I draw a fish right here, I'm going to erase all of my house details that I already drew in there so my fish doesn't look see-through. So I think I'm going to start by drawing some fish in my water and then I might add a little boat or something up here.
So I added a bunch of different fish in my water, I added an octopus, and I added a little boat to set the scene that my house is being almost like submerged in water. So now that I finished drawing everything in pencil, I'm going to trace over all of my pencil lines with my Sharpie pen. Like I said, you can use anything you have to trace over your lines, whether that is a normal pen or a colored pencil or a skinny marker. It is up to you. Now I finished tracing my entire house and my added ocean details in Sharpie. I erased my pencil lines with my eraser and I am ready to add color. If you don't have anything to add color with, like crayons or colored pencils or markers or paint, you can leave your drawing like this and take a picture of it and share it with me. If you have something to color with, I think it looks great. If we just go below our waterline here with blue and cover that entire section with a light blue, light enough that we can see through it so we can see all of our objects here. So if you're using marker, I would pick a very light marker. I think colored pencil or crayon might work the best. I'm going to use a light blue watercolor and just do a light layer of my watercolor over the top. So that's really going to emphasize the idea that this space of our paper is water that is covering up our house. That is my underwater house portrait all finished. I drew my house, added underwater creatures as if the street was being flooded from the ocean, and then I painted it using blue watercolor. Like I said, if you don't have watercolor, you can use any type of art material to color in that bottom half of your paper blue where your waterline starts all the way down. And if you don't have a Sharpie pen to trace over your drawing, you can use any material like a color pencil or a marker or even just a regular pen will work. When you're finished, share your project with me on Google Docs. I can't wait to see the amazing things you guys create. Try your best, have fun, and get creative. Bye!